Plenty, let's do this, Brian. Uh, plenty of news to talk about. The major news, the major news to talk about the judiciary. And mm. uh, oh, I was listening to some radio. Jared Warrior Hargreaves looking at three weeks mm. on the sideline. So there's two games to go in the comp- competition proper. Then you've got the finals, of course. He almost has to take that. Oh, he has. Yeah. Because otherwise it's a four-week jobby. Yeah, it was. he just got it wrong. He was up and about. I, I noticed he was into Dave Fafita. Oh. It was oh, actually yeah. a tackle afterwards. He ran in third man in and whacked, whacked um, for feeder. So he's up and about. And then Sammy Verrills ran and just got him a bit high. Cam Murray, he's got two weeks, so that'll end his season. He's hit on Tyson Frizzell. Uh, this is interesting because we called the game. This was uh, Manly versus the Tigers Thursday night. Corey Waddell looking at two weeks for his hit on Solomon Alamalo. Now, in the game, there was a hit by... Uh, who got the hit? Paseca? Sibley? Uh, yeah, Paseca. Paseca. Paseca got him. No. Sorry, Waddell got him. Yes, but they penalised yeah. Paseca. So Waddell's looking at some time. Jesse Ramey looking at a week for his high tackle on Matty Fino. And Stephen Crichton, this is a talking point because people are starting to say, oh, they're, they're a protected species. Um, he's looking at a week on the sideline for his high tackle on Roger Tuovasashek. Thoughts? Uh, on, yep. on, on the high shots. It's all fine. Yeah. It's, that's what it is. Can we get someone? This is what I, this is what spins me out a bit. So go back to the Melbourne Penrith game when Nelson got two ten minutes in the bin, and then Mitch Kenny got ten minutes in the bin. Yep. Uh, sorry, didn't no, get, he didn't, didn't get, didn't, didn't. but he got a week suspension. Yes. Can we have someone in the bunker who is going to be on the match review committee the following day, so that it's all married up? Yeah. Because if he's going to get a week, surely you get ten minutes in the syndicate. Yeah. So if you're sitting there. And the MRC guy looks at the video and goes, oh, geez, that's not looking good. We're going to have to give him a week. Doesn't he just converse with the referee and goes, well, if he's going to get a week, you've got to get him off now okay. for 10 minutes. Brian, can I, can I propose something to you, which I think we could do right now, which I think will make a difference to the finals. I, I want to take away the power from the referee for the sin binnings and those types of things, right? We look at tries. We look at them ad nauseum. The referee says try. They're about to hit the goal. And then we get the... Thing come up mm. and it's no try. You could argue that a sin binning is a bigger change of events than a try in a game. You could argue that. De- the way the game is going now, right. definitely. So can I ask, I, I want to talk about two things where we could take away the power and pressure from the referee, not forgetting that they're running probably 12, 15 Ks in a game. I know, I know you've got two things, which is more like seven, but yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take <laughs> okay. you two. Okay. First thing, so the first three and a half is... What, what, like, just penalise someone. Let the bunker and the match review official in the thing. If they two minutes later say, sorry, blah, blah, you're off. Yep. Okay, next stoppage, bang, sorry, it's come from the bunker, you're off. Don't put on the poor old referee who's got a thousand things going mm. on. What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, I like that. Okay. I don't think it'll take two minutes. Whatever it takes. Let the game flowing. Let, keep, so, keep so the game it's flowing. not his job to worry about that. Yep. He just gives a penalty yep. and he has to worry about sin bins. Send offs, whatever it is, and okay. there should never be a send off. We should we don't need any urgency on a send off. So the first call should be from these people, ten in the bin. Then they've got ten minutes to actually properly go through it and go. You know what? This is a true send off. It's been announced. He's not coming back on. It's, it shouldn't be on the poor bloody ref yeah. to come up with that's such f- match defining plays. That's a fair point. Okay, second. I don't point. think they need ten minutes though. Whatever it is. They've got every angle. No, no, but I'm saying it's just a yellow card. If you want to call it yellow card, whatever. Okay. Just get them off. And, and it's never the job of the on-field referees, my opinion. Okay. They're, they're officiating the game. Yes. There's too much on. Did you see the Sewer Falongo try? <laughs> yes. What What did you think about that? Okay, the angle I saw. So I've, you, seen, I've seen two angles. What was your gut? For, if, we, if we went to the world about it, it would be voted. What would be the okay. voting? Okay, the angle I saw, yep. no try, definitely. Yep. But then I saw a still of a different angle, and it looked like a try. So I'm happy with it. But what's your gut feel? Try. Try. Yep. Okay. My gut feel is, with the majority, I think, it's no try. Okay. That's Because it touched the line? Yes. Yep. But again, again, why do we need the referee to even comment? Like, why are we, why are we defining major decisions... If we want the balance of probability in the hands of someone, mm. what, but so many decisions that are in the because of camera views, whatever the case may be, is on the referee. He doesn't field. have them, yeah. So just if he doesn't know, I don't know. You guys sort it out. Right, rather than going, oh, it's on a try. Like 
Go upstairs. Just, just go upstairs. Okay. Yep. Don't, don't give us your view either way. If yeah. you don't know, just you go upstairs. Yeah. If you think it's a try, they'll probably think it's a try as well. Mm. They've got the time and all the camera angles to come up with it. Yep. Those two things, take those both away from the on-field referee. Do you not think that would be handy? We did, but we've gone down this road before. Referees went up and said, I don't have an opinion. Well, then they, no, they, they, they don't. I know, but then they've, they use that, the bunker used that, to come back and say, not enough evidence to change the on-field decision. So they sort no. of... No. Well, why don't we just have, unless you can, can categorically confirm it's a try, yep. the decision is, we can't confirm it's a try, so it's a no try. Okay. Default to that. The third point, and I did squeeze another one in. Yeah, that's fine. I knew you were going to. I, I did squeeze another one in, was that right now... So we've got referees, the best referees of the game, who sometimes are in the bunker. Okay. We've got round 26, Correct. round 27 coming up. Correct. Why don't we now get a couple of pods as the bunkers? You're either a referee or you're a bunker. You're not doing both. At this stage of the year, we need you to be a dedicated bunker or a dedicated referee, right? If, if you're not going to uh, referee the grand final, well, then you can be a dedicated pod for a bunker, mm. right? And let's have the best bunker pod – pods now doing it so when it comes to finals the same pod should just about be able to do the whole final series is there a have should we, they not yeah no do we have a better pod than other is I, it, I don't know i don't know the answer but what they, i do are, know are they keeping records I, I, i'm sure they are bron but what i do know is sometimes we've got a bloke who's reference sometimes they're in a pod of bunker yeah we could choose right now a pod of two pods of bunkers that referee or bunker, round 26, round 27, and whoever the best pod is, they there's no reason why they can't officiate the whole of the final series. Yeah. You've got one game on the Friday, two on the Saturday, the Sunday, and we've got consistency. Four, four games. Nine got, games in total. We've got four We've got the same pod going the whole way through. What do you think? one three hundred oh one eleven seventy. That's your NRL news update. Thanks to Bodie's, the original and best clear protein water.